The trend towards bigger and more powerful forestry machines has become so prevalent over the last decade, it's almost a surprise when a logging contractor decides to head in the opposite direction. So when Northland's Rosewarne cable loggers look to step back from the two big John Deere 3754D processors that have served it well for more than five years and purchase a pair of smaller machines, the immediate question was why? After all, Northland has a reputation for producing some of the biggest wood in the country, and that was the reason that owner Lars Rosewarne went with the bigger equipment in the first place. But times have changed. Much of the big wood in the corporate forest has been harvested and the piece sizes have come down, but the trees are still reasonably large compared to the many parts of the country, so the machines required to match them were carefully considered. Rosewarne ended up with the next size down from its previous John Deere swing machine and processing head. The NZ Logger Iron Test team visited the forest just north of Dargaville to see how the new 43-tonne John Deere 3156G and Southstar QS630 combination is working out, the 3156G being the first of its type to go into operation in New Zealand. Lars Rosewarne chose the tall cab riser version so that the operator, Shane Harrison, has a much better view of the skid site. The 1.5 metre riser not only provides extra height, it also pushes the cab out to the front, placing Shane closer to the processing action. Being a smaller machine than its predecessor in this crew, the hydraulic performance is dialed back, but not by much, and Shane says there's plenty of flow on tap from the John Deere 9 litre engine to drive all the functions, as well as the head. The Southstar QS630 is almost two thirds of a tonne lighter than the big head used by the Crew 82 previously, but it's well suited to the trees of this size and has been upgraded recently with new features such as larger D limb arms that are tailored to the wood harvest of New Zealand. One of the best features of the John Deere is the rear entry cab, which provides a much safer route for the operator to climb up and down. And there's more room in the cab itself with enough space for an instructor or someone like our iron tester Stan Barlow to stand behind the seat and observe before swapping with Shane to take over the controls. Stan was impressed by the power in both the John Deere and Southstar, more than enough to lift and swing some of the bigger stems around, then drive them through the d -limb arms before the optimising system decided where to make the cuts. Crew 82's foreman, Spud Patton, says the new combination is very productive, easily hitting target each week. On top of that, it's more fuel efficient. You couldn't ask for anything better. <laughs>